Hello and welcome to the Church of All Hallows in Seaton, Rutland. The buttresses are graduated to the north and south aisles and are more elaborate to the chancel. The chancel wall alternates between freestone and ironstone, which dates from around 1350. The 13th century arch has some fine examples of head stops. In 1875, the belfry floor was relaid, the old outer doorway into the tower was blocked. This chest probably predates the 1538 order for the keeping of church records in a secure chest. It once was used as a hen coop. In the North Arcade, the first two arches and responds are from the late 1100s, having acanthus decoration which is common in Rutland churches. It's also interesting to see the alternate freestone and ironstone giving a zebra-like effect. Although the chancel arch is Norman, and was restored in 1875. The red stone is original and was coloured by a fire in around 1180. The root screen was removed in the 18th century when a pair of pulpits were constructed. The position of one you can see here on the floor dates from 1875. This alabaster reredos was put up in 1889. The early English chancel retains some 13th century features. Here is a triple sedilia and piscina. These have been constructed from a single architectural composition. The ombre in the east end of the north wall may have been an Easter sepulchre. This effigy is severely worn. It is pretty obvious that it's been outside for a number of years, hence its weather-worn appearance. The arched benefactor tomb recesses in the wall of the aisle are probably 13th century and could possibly have had members of the Boyfoy family who held the manor in the local area. The font was donated to the church in 1875.
This second font on the other side of the tower arch is early English and appears to be very weather-worn. Church of All Hallows in Seaton.